What's up, guys? Toby, Five Old Baits. Hey, today we are shooting some of my favorite baits for trailers, the 3.8 inch Gimme, Shabin, uh, Hula Grub, and we'll show you the mold in the bait, of course. And I'm going to shoot me some minnows as well. Um, been shooting pearl white, and I didn't really think that you know you really give a crap about pearl white, but we'll shoot them and let you see. Uh, the bottom's gonna be just a green highlight, mm, glares and stuff. Just a green highlight. The top is a green pumpkin, blue flake with. Some highlight in it, just a little bit, just a little bit, a bit. So we're gonna shoot these things, and we're gonna do a little potluck on some remelts. And we'll show you from the last video. I got them clear coated. Uh, it didn't do too well, so I don't know if I'll do any more or not. We'll see. On some painting schemes for the hard baits, but who knows? We might, we might not, but. We'll show you the final product clear coated and just show you how that clear coat just mm, brings out the colors in it so much better and all that good stuff. So, let's get started. This is my Favorite thing to do is to make what normally, now don't get me wrong, tournament guys, most of the time, pearl white. That's why I'm, I'm pouring them. Um, I've been pouring some stuff for me as well, getting ready for when tournament season gets here, but a little action worm, blue, and some blue highlight down there. I go to FedEx, man. So, they're going to be hard to see because the ghillie is so much taller than the other baits. Um, so, We'll just rock with it and see what we come up with. Again, these are my favorite trailer baits. Um, the hula, any kind of grub or twin tail grub like that is great. Oh, like I had a boo boo. Like I said, with some being taller than the others, it is a pain. I don't know why my minute just didn't sound good right there. And we're going to shoot some of these gillies. If my plastic hasn't set up yet. I think it did. Everything's pretty cold. I might not have even got no gillies out of that. But we'll see. Green pumpkin side seem to set up. Everything's cold. I don't want the only thing I warm up is my blending block. I don't warm up my uh molds because the molds for me seem to shoot better cold or cool. For me, now again, every mold is different. Doesn't mean that you know yours are gonna shoot the same way or if it's a different brand or whatever. Um, I've just found for me, I like them to be cool. So, strangest stuff again. Whew, that glare is going to be horrible. But it is sunny. Cool though. We had a lot of rain. And now we have a lot of wind. So, I wanted to get on the water, dial that live scope back in, or scope in. I got a new head unit. But uh, it's too windy today. I just don't feel like doing it. So, thing falling over my eyes. You know why I can't see? So, we. Like, ah, I'm having a day, boy, having a day. Quiet to edit. All right, sorry about that, guys. I had to edit a uh, phone call from uh, one of my dad's doctors. So, very important. Had to stop and do that. Um, I just want to show y'all, this is the one we painted. Mm -hmm. 
in that last video. And you see how that clear coat just brings it out even more on top of the colors. Um, that's the big glide. Oh, here's the one that I like as far as a glide bait goes. I love the size of it. Because like I said, I don't have to buy no big crazy tackle to throw a big six, seven ounce bait. I like that one. That way I don't have to buy a bunch of crap that I don't have already. Even though you can never have enough fishing stuff. I don't care who you are. But, and I love this little bait as well. Um, I wish it would sink a little bit faster or a little bit further, but the action on it is amazing. Again, when we clear coated, we had to brush these off because, and for Mr. Graves, made you a plopper. It's setting up. I don't paint the tails on the ploppers. Uh, just leave them as they come. Just, I like it that way. You can paint them. I, I can paint them. I just never do. Um, in the tops and the sides of top water baits, um, I'm just as bad as anyone else. But, man, this glare is going to kill it. But, it's a, Five inch top water, spook type. But the thing about these are, you can do whatever you want to. They're top waters, so the color really doesn't matter except for the bottom. For mine personally, I do not go white. I'll make something different, whether it's a bone color or something like that along those lines. And the reason is for me, in my eyes, um. Fish are dark on top, light on bottom. The light on bottom helps them for prey, you know, or predators coming upward. Um, so I don't want to make it, I love the chrome and stuff like that, but I don't want to make it harder for the fish to see it. So I will go with color on the bottom, whether it's chartreuse, whether it's a green, whether whatever. Um, that's just me. I could be wrong. I am a lot, but uh, who knows? So, uh, I was wanting to do the potluck as well. I have a lot of left, not a lot, but I have leftovers from shooting the smelters, a lot of green pumpkins, uh, some different hyper shifts and some different highlight powders. So, if the video isn't going to be too long, I'll, I'll shoot those. Or we'll see what color we come up with. Or worst case scenario, I'll just make another video eventually. Drop shot metal. Everything was cold, so I do not know. Usually though, I have better luck with my molds being cold. I don't think I did on this one. I see some bubbles, but I heard it when I was injecting it. So. There we go. Got a few of them turned out good. Uh, the bottom two got bubbles. Big time bubbles. Don't know why. I will fish those. That doesn't bother me again. Like I said, I, I fish reject baits a lot. Or if I'm shooting an order and some don't turn out perfect, I fish those baits. It doesn't bother me at all. I just, you don't want to give those to a customer or whatever. So... You know, I fish a lot of them uh, that are like that. Hula Grub. Great. Another trailer bait. That we run on cheddar baits, spinner baits, whatever you want. But I also fish these on finesse jigs and stuff like that as well. And when I'm doing them on a finesse jig, I do like to have more natural colors. That green pumpkin, blue flake, just, mm, it's good, especially when you have the little highlight powders in it. 
I don't know if you can really see the highlight because of the sun beaming in, which I'm happy to have that sun, but I like this bait because I can take, if I want to knock it down some, as far as the hook size, depending on what I'm fishing, it's a finesse jig versus a full size jig. I can cut it down or bite it off and have that much left, but I like the tail on these more than some of the others. I would like to have a hula grub that is not round though, that you can bring through brush, stuff like that a little bit easier. Doesn't catch as much on, shit keeps falling, on uh, limbs or, or whatever. Uh, maybe a beaver style body or a more flat type body. Just me, something I'm thinking about, but I'm always thinking about baits. I don't know why. So, trying to make them better, trying to make them more fishable to me. That is why the Helter Smelter, the, the hula type grubs, stuff like that, even this 3.8 inch ghillie. I love baits that are versatile, that you can fish numerous ways. And I don't even know if these came out. Uh, my green pumpkin was already setting up, so. I doubt it, but we're going to look at them and see. Uh, I did these top bottom because on a chatterbait, yeah, got one. The other one didn't make it because on a chatterbait, you can fish them both ways. You can go this way with it if you need it to drop down quicker, or you can do them flat like this and use it as a trailer that way. And if you don't want your spinner bait or your chatter bait, especially dropping as fast, your plastics will help with that. So fishing them flat like that will slow your fall rate, but you can also put them up this way as a trailer, back of a chatter bait, spinner bait, whatever you want it to be on, and uh, mainly chatter. Fish it that way, and it's a little more streamlined, a little more aerodynamic, so it goes down a little bit quicker. So, just food for thought, if anybody's debating on this mold or this bait, uh, again, I like versatility, so it doesn't mean it's the best for everybody else, but I like it, so that's what we're going to go with. So, I uh, don't know if we, anybody want to wait around long enough to see our potluck? I could have thrown that in and not have to be dealing with waiting on it to cook up because I'm sure it's going to be bubbly. Like I said, these are just leftovers. I didn't have them stored anywhere, so I'm probably going to get a good bit of bubbles. But I will. Let's throw it in here and see what we come up with. Come on. Microwave's acting up. So again, that's our ghillie. I love highlight powders, I think you know that, and uh, the hyper shift powders as well. In my baits, uh, I don't know if it matters that much to some of you guys, but to me it does. I, I like them, but again now, for some of my better tournament guys that fish quite often, they're not really, some things are picky, some things are not. Trailers are a lot of her whites. Pearl white chartreuse. That, that's pretty much it. Now, every now and then, they'll want certain colors, maybe a green pumpkin over a white or a pearl white or whatever. And, of course, I give them what they want. But this, you know, everybody knows how I feel about drop shot type baits. I need to, I'm going to pour this also in the Helter Smelter because... It's gonna get hammered, 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 hammered. Gonna hang these up to cure. We showed you those baits back there. And now, let me trim off this uh, excess. I try to save as much plastic as I can. And the reason I do that is, <coughs> like I've said before, I shoot my baits in a lot of stuff that <coughs> is left over or remelts. Because again, I don't need perfection in my baits. Um, uh, you know, 
It's hard to explain. There's a bubble in this one. Can you see it right there? But that one's going to go in my tackle bag. And I'm going to use it. Little drop shot, action worm. Uh, it can also be on a med bait or whatever. I know we're not really in that type of season right now. <clears throat> right now, it's chatter bait, spinner baits, uh, Alabama rigs, umbrella rigs, whatever you call them. And uh, it's getting soft, getting soft. I haven't melted yet. So that's the time of year right now. And that's what um, <coughs> people are fishing right now. So what they're fishing is what we're going to make for this time of year. But we're also going to this year use more of the turn, more of the glad baits uh, to try and get better at it. It's not one of my techniques that I like. Uh, I'm also going to try and get a lot better on the deep fishing. Um, the spotted bass on like Lake Hartwell, they love to get deep at times. You can catch them shallow or deep. It doesn't matter either way. Uh, but it just seems like to me, some of your better quality fish seem to be in that 20, 25 foot range. And, you know, I want to be more versatile instead of fishing one way for them every time. I want to be able to have confidence in numerous ways. And that'll come into play in summertime uh, and winter. And come on, door. And things like that. So, some of the things I'm going to work on on my fishing and baits. So I'll be using a lot of these Hulu grubs on the back of uh, finesse jigs, stuff like that. Don't have to be finesse, they can be Arky style baits or, or whatever. And we're gonna get this single injector ready because those remelts will be one color. And I believe I'm gonna shoot them in the uh, in the drop shot now and just see what color it produces I may even shoot it in the hula grill I may shoot it in all of them let's see how much plastic we got out of this remelt you can fill your cup up with remelt and you'll wind up with well that's a cup but I had it slap filled up in bubble city but I leave these plastics sitting out I'm the world's worst now some colors that I'm going to reuse, I'll pack up in Ziploc bags just to keep this from happening. Not a bad color. It'll catch fish. Basically a green pumpkin with a lot of highlight. Got a little bit of black flake. Not much, it's very little. Cause like I said, I grabbed everything and threw it together. So we're gonna let's see what temperature we got. Ah, gotta be staring. See, it showed 298, but it's actually 325. Once you get it stirring, if you're using your laser thermometers. And so, if you make baits, I know you already know this, but if you're gonna get into it, when you save all these extras or all this stuff that you make. Chunk it in, and worst case scenario, get you some uh, Pearl X powders from Hobby Lobby or whatever, and turn it one color, whether it be a green color or a black. Uh, I fish the night tournaments, so I use a lot of black. So you can add whatever you want, but I'll add black Pearl X powders to it. Next thing you know. I got black worms or I got black whatever I'm using, you know, or I need for that that tournament or that, you know. So at night I use a lot of just straight black or black with blue flake, black with red flake, all kinds of stuff. We're going to pop it in the hula grub as well. Mmm, this injector is cold. Everything's cold, man. Do a couple more of that. Well, run out of plastic. It might have filled, but I doubt it. 
So that's the color we get from mixing. Yeah. Mixing all of our leftover sprues. Now, again, I do try to keep it. There's a small blue flake in there. And maybe some small green. It's hard to tell. Eyes getting old, man. I'm old. This thing keeps falling. I think I need a new one. So, remelts. Like I said, I fish a ton of bows. I fish a ton of my dented baits or my baits that aren't great that I wouldn't send out to someone. Doesn't bother me a bit. And I have a ton of it. So, if anybody's getting into it, look for somebody that sells maybe remelts. You want to buy plastic. A lot of guys will just say, hey, pay the shipping. You can have it. I used to do it with these uh, flat rate boxes. But it's really a pain to me. But, so maybe I'm, I will get it all together and do that one day. But, I used to do it, and then I just got out of it. Shipping's a pain in the butt to me, especially the postal service. Yeah, these will catch you all day. It's not your perfect little laminated bait or anything like that, but that's going to catch fish, bro. And these are just leftovers again that, you know, some... Some guys throw away or whatever, but they'll catch. <laughs> Bam, all day they'll catch. So don't throw your stuff away. And like I said, if you have to, turn it one color or do two batches and do one black, one green, one red, whatever, you know, whatever you can change it to. Just change your uh, remelts to one color. Does all right for me. And I fish them. So, there we go. More hula grubs. And just for comparison, let's hold you up. All right, this is the remelts that we just did. <clears throat> this is the laminated bait that I shot. So, it's not far off. And to be honest with you, I almost like this color green pumpkin a little. It's a light green pumpkin. So there's going to be times that I'll like that color better than the one that I actually pour up for buddies or tournament guys or whatever. So there you go. Like I said, man, sometimes single colors, as long as it's the right color, works great. So don't get all twisted and think that you can't do anything with these remelts or whatever because I do it all the time and I fish them all the time. Um old baits or if you go through your tackle box and find baits certain ones now don't be trying to melt down z-man stuff you can't do that but uh i mean zoom stuff's really salty it's going to give you a lot of bubbles but if you got a vacuum chamber no big deal i do i just usually if you heat your plastic up to around 350 360 let it sit for a while because you're not going to inject it to your vine 320 or lower after that Yes. That is the plastic we just remelted. Now, I didn't even add anything to it. I just want to see what color we came up with. And you can also just go in when you remelt, add some more green pumpkin. Turn it green pumpkin. Uh, your liquid colorant takes more than the uh, powders do, but no big deal. I could probably put 10 drops, 15 drops of green pumpkin in that. And it would basically be a real deal, my normal green pumpkin that I shoot. So, there we go. All right, guys. Hog salad, 3.8 inch gilly. The hula grub. Just a little recap. And, of course, y'all know I love drop shot bait. So, the drop shot nut. And the action worm. Don't fish it as much. I probably need to fish it more. Good drop shot bait. Again, you can use those as a Ned bait. I love versatility in baits, and that's what I get. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you watching. Y'all know the deal. Let's go catch some fish, man. Have a great day.